What's up everybody? Chip here with Main Street Mower and I'm excited to review the Vintrax 4500Z. This is a machine that I have been just dying to try for a very long time. I've been very excited. Me and my dad both live on an abandoned golf course and we mow certain parts of it so we can enjoy it ourselves because it just kind of gets overgrown and crazy. But we've really fallen behind this summer because of all the rain. It's been raining in Central Florida every day, inches and inches and inches, and it's just gotten so soggy and boggy and humid and grass is growing like crazy. We can't keep up because we've been so busy. But I had this for a few hours. I want to go mow some of our favorite trails down by the lake. I'm going to put it on some slopes. We're going to give it the beans today. Beans? <laughs> White beans. <laughs> Guys, this particular model is their best seller. This one has a gas-powered three-cylinder diesel. Sorry. Try again. This one has a gas-powered three-cylinder Kubota engine. I keep saying diesel because it literally is a diesel block, but it's gas-powered. Has spark plugs, has a carburetor. It's very simple to work on. It's very simple to understand, but it's built like a diesel. You know, a lot of people love diesels because they last forever because they're built with iron blocks to like withstand all the compression and things needed to run a diesel. But this is literally built like a diesel, but it's gas. It's kind of this crazy upside down world, but it's their best seller and it's a great, very reliable engine and it's their highest horsepower option. Comes with 32.5 horsepower, has a six gallon fuel tank. This is their rough cut deck. It's at 68 inches ish. And this fit on my small tandem landscape trailer pulled with my 1500 Chevy truck. You know, this is capable of doing some things that you need a really big tractor and a really big brush hog to do, but it does it in a very light, compact form, right? This is something that any landscaper could put on his landscape trailer, and this can be such an awesome side hustle for all of y'all who are just looking for something to do on the weekends or a way to add accounts or some business that isn't so maintenance heavy all the time and can put you in different jobs that you don't want to beat your mower up doing, right? And these aren't incredibly cheap, but they're not that incredibly expensive either. Uh, just the basic tractor frame is less than 30,000. Then you have to buy like the rough cut and the wheel set. For not all that much money, you can get into brush cutting and be pretty darn serious at it. This is also an incredible slope mower. They can mow up to 30 degrees for a period of time and 20 degrees indefinitely basically and it is just built for that kind of slope this is eight wheel drive all eight wheels are hydraulically powered right so this thing has such traction and that huge tire that huge footprint gives it very low psi on the ground which means you don't get stuck in mud or water very easily uh, it says it has less psi per square inch than your foot touching the ground and so you can go over wet, soggy ground or turf and not make giant marks or twists and all that kind of stuff. Speaking of twists, the machine actually articulates in the center, right? So you're not twisting your front wheels and pivoting your rear. You're actually turning around your turns. You're going to see that today. It does a really good job of not twisting and binding and ripping up grass. We're going to put this thing through its paces. We're about to go hit some trails with it. We're going to show you what it looks like and how it handles some thick, soggy Florida vegetation down here in Central Florida. And you guys get to follow along. We got a new drone we're going to play, play with. So you guys are going to see some overhead footage and we're going to mow in some little bit risky areas. We might see some snakes, some alligators. I don't know. It's going to be crazy. And uh, if you've been enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe. It really helps us get our hands on some equipment like this that we normally can't get. And it helps us grow as a YouTube channel. We really appreciate you guys. Enough talking. Let's go put this thing to the test. Come on.
Spider-Man has as much traction. This thing can grab. I like the Ventrax 45Z because I love it. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. I just had an absolute hoot the last three hours just mowing new spots into all the ponds, through all the paths, overhead stuff. This thing's an absolute beast. It's so comfortable, it's so intuitive. I thought I wouldn't like that you have to push on this lever forward and reverse to lift the deck. It's so natural, it becomes a part of you, like you don't even think about it. You are rolling into things, you're cutting like, whoo, you don't even, it's so easy, it's dreamy. And if your hand gets tired, there is a foot pedal for forward and reverse, which is also nice. If you guys are a landowner, or if you're trying to start a new aspect to your landscape business, or if you are looking to get into some type of land clearing, the Vintrax 45Z is absolutely outstanding. And now that it's owned by Toro, I know it's gonna have the level of support that I would want. This engine performed phenomenally. The deck cut amazingly. I was cutting down some serious stuff. I couldn't believe the traction. I was going all the way down to the water's edge to the front wheels on the rough cut deck was literally going in the water and I could start to see it start to mist and I can lift the deck up. Any other machine, you would be in the drink. You'd go straight in. This machine had the grip, had the torque. You put it in your low range and she would just crawl out of there backwards. Ah! It was unstoppable, honestly. Very, very, very impressive. And it's just sipping the gas. I put, it has a six gallon tank. I put six gallons in it. I don't even think I hit the first bar I mowed for three hours. So I don't know exactly the runtime, but I know this thing is efficient. It does a great job. The one knock on this thing, and it's not even a knock. It looks like Johnny Five, right? Hello, bozos. Please call me Johnny Five. All right angle metal face, just kind of. And you know what? I think I've become I've fallen in love with the looks, right? Like I think they've put their energy and their money and their effort into the things that matter, its abilities, its techniques, it's so intuitive. And it goes exactly where I want it to go and it has the ability to back it up, you know? A lot of machines you can get yourself into a situation where you're gonna get stuck or you can't get out or you're gonna nose down and you're not gonna be able to nose back up. It doesn't have that problem. Anywhere you think you can go, you could pretty much go. I mean, other than driving straight into the water onto the lake, like I'm sure I could have pushed it to another level. And I was trying to push it today and I was just blown away at the, the capability of this machine. I want one. I wanna own one. When I retire, I wanna have one on a trailer and drive it around and bid jobs. I think they're just a fantastic product. The people who I can imagine buying this, is if you're in Ocala and you have a horse farm and you need to clear woods and you wanna clear trails on your property and you wanna put a big finish deck on it and you wanna cut and mow big areas, your, your pastures and all those kind of things, this would be a fantastic product for that. If you are a guy trying to get into the land clearing business and you wanted to just start with this rough cut deck, some the, the extra wheel set, and you could bid out these per acre jobs, man, you could make some money quick with this thing. And it's really not that expensive to get into the land clearing business with a machine like this. And it's not that intimidating. You don't have to have a big learning curve. You can reverse very easily. You can get into these nitty gritty jobs that other guys can't get into. I could even see just a homeowner who just has a lot of other needs. You know, there's buckets for this thing. There's trenchers for this thing. I mean, if you're a landscaper and you're just trying to buy a versatile machine, it's it's similar to a dingo in that it offers some like attachment variety, right? And and um, you can put a stump grinder on this. It is only PTO driven from the front, 
nothing PTO driven from the back. The back has a three point hitch for carrying attachments so that you can you know, go out into a property like we were just on. If you were gonna cut down trees, say have a chainsaw or what have you, you could then drop your deck, throw on your stump grinding attachment, work the stump and then throw it back on the rear. It's just a way of carrying things. Everything is ran off the front. It would be cool if there was an, a rear option, but you know, the front is so convenient because you have your line of sight, right? It's cutting things before I approach it. When I'm in the path of tall grass and all this debris, it's being laid down in front of me and I'm not that dirty. I mean, I mowed some gnarly stuff today. I did not brush myself off. I did not blow myself off. I mean, I was in those little black Florida stickers, that Florida nettle. I have like five on me. It did a great job of keeping me clean. The Vintrax 45Z is absolutely outstanding. I had a total hoot riding this thing around. Really all I have to say about the Vintrax 45Z, if you like the product, give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot to us, helps this video go further. If you like this channel, you like reviews like this, please subscribe. We have tons of reviews on other Toros and other products, other comparison videos. Check out the channels, all kinds of fun ways you can learn about landscaping and how to take care of your property. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. My name's Chip, this is Main Street Mower. Appreciate y'all, have a good day.